The L-Class Line Array system is equipped with an automatic wireless array recognition system called QSC Aware. A little on the nose. The Aware technology uses active internal accelerometers and infrared communication links within each loudspeaker to determine the status, position, and angle of each loudspeaker in the array, as well as the total number of boxes in the array and the global tilt and coverage. All of this data is then used to automatically load what we call an RQ, or Array Equalization Preset, for that specific configuration in order to achieve optimum performance. From there, the user can apply the recommended RQ using the controls located on the loudspeaker's rear user interface or via QSC System Navigator software. Let's break that down. After an array has been assembled and powered on, the array itself becomes self-aware. Don't worry, I'm not talking about a singularity. We're still years away from a robot uprising. Probably. Probably? Using IR for communication, each loudspeaker box associates with the other boxes up and down the array to determine its relative position and angle within the array. The information acquired by each loudspeaker is compiled to calculate how many total loudspeakers are in the array. With this information, it becomes possible to determine each loudspeaker's position within the complete array. And it does all of this within a matter of seconds. Because computers are fast. It's pretty cool. And not at all scary. Without this system, the user would have to do all of this manually, which is tedious and not fun. Once all of this information is established, the system will then determine the proper RQ preset to load across the array, thereby optimizing the array for the best possible performance. This RQ array equalization can be applied using the rear controls located on the rear user interface of any of the loudspeakers within the array with the touch of a single button. What? One button. Yeah. Pressing a single button? Yeah. Why, why does this need a training? Scenario one is that a single L-Class loudspeaker is deployed. This is pretty simple. When the loudspeaker powers on, the QSC Aware system will automatically determine the number of boxes, in this case, one, and the status of the loudspeaker. If the loudspeaker is in factory default settings, being either brand new or recently reset, the status bar at the top will turn green with a single loudspeaker in the total array. Both the gain and the high frequency shelf will be set to 0 dB, and the sensitivity will be set to plus 24 dB. If the loudspeaker is connected to the QSC System Navigator app, the network connection status will turn green as well. Otherwise, the status bar will be grayed out. The high pass filter and EQ will both be grayed out. However, the RQ array equalization will be active, which is displayed in blue. A single L-Class loudspeaker in factory settings will have RQ array equalization. If the loudspeaker is in a state other than the factory default, one of two display variations will appear. If there is no change detected from the state in which it was last powered on, the status bar at the top will display green and all of the settings will be displayed in the state at which they were set to previously. If there are changes to the settings from the last time it was powered on, for example, if it was previously part of a multiple box array and is now powered on as a single loudspeaker, the status bar will display orange. All other settings will display in the state that they were previously set to. And because the array is not in its last known state, the message Optimize Array, press and hold knob appears at the bottom of the screen. To engage the auto RQ array equalization, hold down the encoder wheel for three seconds as indicated. With this done, the loudspeaker will be reset to the default settings for a single loudspeaker. If the array compensation is engaged and you wish to undo the RQ array equalization, you can do so by pressing the back button within three seconds of the array compensation engaging. The second scenario will be more than one L-Class loudspeakers connected together and powering on in the same state in which they were previously set up. In this event, when the array is powered on, the number of loudspeakers and their splay angles are automatically detected. The status bar displays green and all settings are shown in the state that they were previously set to, including total number of boxes, individual box angles, and all gain, high frequency shelving, EQ, and high pass filter settings. In this scenario, no other action is required on your part. Simply connect your signal and go. The third scenario is when an array is powered on in a random configuration with mismatched parameters from its last known state. 
Let's say you have the same inventory of speakers, but they don't always go back into the exact same location in each array every time. In this scenario, the status bar will display orange. The total number of loudspeakers will be displayed with the current loudspeaker highlighted in the array. From here, you can either press and hold the encoder wheel for three seconds to initiate the automatic array optimization process, or enter your desired settings manually via the rear user interface if you want to voice the system manually. Once the array optimization is complete, the status bar will display green and you're good to go. After applying the recommended settings, we suggest giving a friendly thank you to the system for all its hard work. That way, when the robot overlords take us over, at least they'll know you're a friend. It's also good to mention that the total number of loudspeakers recommended in an array is no more than six. If your array has more than six loudspeakers connected, you'll receive the message, not a recommended array, some features will be unavailable. If you get this message, you will need to disconnect some of the boxes so that the total number is no more than six. Or be prepared to operate the array as an unlinked system where all loudspeakers are managed individually. That's really it. The array did most of the work by itself. All you have to do is press one button and you're ready to go. Just one super simple. If you are using the System Navigator app, the information collected and calculated by the AWARE system will be automatically delivered to SysNav. From there, a number of advanced functions will be available to you within the software. We'll get deeper into this within the System Navigator training. QSC AWARE system leads to a consistent and repeatable experience in any venue or fixed installation with a fast and efficient setup every time. That's it for this video. Your robot overlords, thank you for your obedience and cooperation. What?